Yo, what's going on, sexy Sam? Let us quit today. We're doing a ranked 1v1. I got my butts mug, baby. Don't worry about it. Um, I didn't sleep last night or tonight. That guy's name is Wide Butthole. What an appropriate name. Um, and today I'm doing something a little bit different. I did this video idea a long, long time ago. And god damn do I mean a long time ago. I mean season two. In season two, I played Kukulkin. I think back then he was out Kwong. It was before he was changed. Um <clears throat> and I played yo, shout outs to the people first off that might remember this video idea. That's fucking MLG is hell. Um, shout out to the three people who subscribed to my channel yesterday. Super appreciate it. Thank you so much. And um, anyways, so the challenge is to just make this game go as long as I possibly can. And he's a Hades, which is very good for me. You, you want something? What, what, what's going on? He's a Hades, so it's very good for me because he can't get Bull Demon. Because pretty much if he goes for Bull Demon, I just ult it. No, he does do that, which I'll admit, pretty obnoxious. Your middle tower is under attack. All right. I guess I'm kind of okay with this, you know. All right, I mean, he's just going to push me in like this, so I think pretty much all we're doing is we're just chilling, which is really good for the video idea, you know? He is autoing my tower, which is slightly annoying, but soon he will not be able to. And that is when I strike. I do have beads up if I need them. All right, now we back. Let's see, he's going for a buff or no, going for wave again. All right, I'm totally fine with this, man. I am totally fine with this. I want all the gold I can get. I don't think I can do anything here. I definitely can't kill him. But it looks like it doesn't matter. Alright. So there's everything from him. Relic, he's got no beads or anything. GG gamer Damn, he was really greedy. He stayed so long. So long. Too long, buddy. Too long. He did almost get me once though, so you know, fair play. Fair play, I suppose. I'm gonna go warlock stash because like I said, I I want this game to go really long. That's just my goal. That's like, how long can I draw out a game? That's basically my goal. And, um, I think going double stacking is the way to do it. Because that way you're going to do a lot of damage. You're going to have a good amount of HP. You know, everything's going to be hunky-dory. That does hit the archers, so I'm chilling. Now I'm just on my farm game, dude. That's it. Now we're just farming. Okay. 
Oh shit! Damn, I did not think that he had his alt back up again. That was really quick. What's my cooldown on beat? One sixty ulted me. I guess he had his alt up for a little while actually. Misplay by me. Your middle tower is under my blue is obviously taken. That hits everything, so I'm gonna get the XP in gold. How much is thirteen hundred? Wow, that's actually really expensive. I did not think it would be thirteen hundred gold for such a bad item. I was thinking maybe like eight hundred, nine hundred gold. Like that item is garbage. Why would it be thirteen hundred? Well, whatever, I guess. Gonna run this way. Bummer. Ow. Baby, I was close. I have beads. But I don't know if it'll save me. Your middle tower is under attack. He just used his horrific. Don't think that I didn't hear that bitch go off, ya ugly butt. Um, I think I'm gonna back. Yeah, I think I'm gonna cut my losses and back there. Cuz... Yo, he's so tanky, bro. He gets tower. That really, really sucks, but... Oh, he didn't actually get tower. Nice. Maybe I can defend it just slightly longer. Oh, he actually cleared it fast enough for the Archer Minions to go into it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Did I just get soloed by his ult? I actually did 750 damage, huh? Okay, alright. That's super not cool. Hmm. I guess if I'm playing for the long game, I shouldn't contest anything, right? I should just clear and run. So I might need a bit of a power spike. I don't think my build is the right build. Do you not think my build is the right build for this type of gameplay? Of course he has Blink. That's what he should get, because it's the best one for him. Sniff them out. The only thing I'm scared of is Bull Demon. Long as he doesn't get bold even. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty hard for him to get bold even right now. He just doesn't do enough damage. 
which is good. It's really good for me. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going to go get... Well, no, I'll wait. Got both of his relics. Both of his relics and his alt for just one of my relics. I'll definitely take that. That's very good. I'm gonna buy a sentry for this. Because I really don't want him to be able to sneak it from me. That would be terrible. Clear the wave. And then ward the bull demon. My next item is probably going to be defense so he can't just 100 to 0 me. Probably a bulwark myself actually. Because of the uh, CC reduction. After that, maybe a Kronos Pendant. Because I would like to have lots of cooldown. That is very nice. Oh, my three didn't go off. Unlucky. Alright. I mean, if you want to zone, dude, I don't even give a fuck. I will zone with you. Once the next wave meets, I think I just throw my three over the wall. Have fun with the wave, buddy. Okay. Oh, nice. The slow work. Oof. Almost died there. Almost died. But the slow... The slow on the one worked. I had to turn to try to do that because it was the only way, the only way that I even somewhat lived through that scenario. But I have to do stuff like that because if he just zones me, then I never gain a level and I there's no chance of winning the game, you know? I want this game to go long, but I also would like to try to win it, you know? <laughs> It will be very tough to do though. I gotta make sure I keep that sentry up. It's blinking right now. Got the red buff. That's really good for me. Darn. And how much is Bulwark? 1050. So we're chilling. Not good. This is not good. Oh, no, I'm chilling actually. Okay. 
He used his horrific, but it didn't matter. Hmm. I don't want him to blink on me. That's what I'm afraid of right now. He's also gonna heal a lot here. Okay, well, he blinked. I'm just gonna beads it. I honestly don't even want to risk it right now. I don't even want to risk it right now, man. Anyways, with beads down, he does become a little bit more scary. I'll admit. Let's see if maybe I can just do this. This is pretty risky. Nice, okay. So now I don't have to worry about that for a little while. I can just farm up. The only reason I thought I could do that, by the way, was because Red was spawning and I just saw him in mid, so I knew he wasn't close. But I was still scared that, you know, he was going to like one and then blink over the wall or some some weird shit that was just going to get me killed really quick. Oh, he's going auto attacks, boys. He's going auto attacks. By the way, I don't have any intention of going up to kill that tower. I shouldn't have used my two there. I don't know why I did, that was stupid. I could die because of CC or slow immunity now. Or lack thereof, I should say. We got his ring. Clear and wave. My three does pretty good damage. I think I saw him go for a blue, so I'm gonna clear this wave. And he's in mid. Right, fuck it. Well, not only a one. Okay. Now we get my Chronos pendant. Perfect, perfect. He's going more attack speed. And then I think after Chronos Pendant, I Pendant, Pendant, after Chronos Pendant, I think I upgrade both my relics. Also, a Gem of Iso would be pretty nice last item. So I upgrade my relics and then I go Gem of Iso. With max cooldown and Gem of Iso, I should be able to run away from him, even though he has Blink. This is a really expensive build though. I'm 12.7k in and I don't even have full build. After I realized I probably shouldn't contest him if I want this game to go long, it started being pretty easy. But whenever he zones, it's still a little bit tough. He could blink over the wall and fuck me up or something, you know? Our bull demon did spawn. You think he'll check it? I'm uh, glad I didn't do it because I think he was going to ch go check it.
All right, good stuff. I know this might be boring to some people, and other people like are gonna be like, "Wow, you played like a total bitch." That's the point of this episode: is to just see how long I can drag a game out, how long somebody with the name Wide Butthole is willing to play. You know? Um, I think I am going to upgrade both these and get tier 1 gem. Got to get 2,000 more gold. 2,000 more gold. This gives me 1,000 mana. This gives me 225 HP. It's like, why would you ever build an item like that for 225 HP that's that expensive? If it had like 400 HP or something... It makes sense. But 200? I mean, come on, man. This guy's probably so annoyed with me. The damage. Oh god. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. We're still chilling. I'm gonna pick up speed because I'm a little bit scared of him doing the whoopsie doodle on me. Acting like he's going to red and then going back to bull demon. Yeah, he didn't do the whoopsie doodle on me, so that's good. Right. Wave cleared. Oh my god, that did 1100 damage. I did not think that his 3 would do 1100 damage with that build. How much power does he have? He's 100 less power than me. Go ahead and blink. Hmm. Gonna go straight back the bull demon, huh? Okay, I think I set him back enough that I'm able to back here. I think so. I think, I hope to God that I set him back enough. I don't have any relics up and his blink comes up in 140. The beads is 130. So actually... Oh, I got gem, buddy. Hey, alright. 
He got Bull Demon, but he died for 40 seconds. So we are hard chilling, man. Hard chilling. Nice. So my my assumption was wrong, actually. I want to get his Phoenix because that means he can't counter push. So let's get Phoenix. He knows I can't win here. Alright, get the Phoenix. Good shit. Phoenix down. Let's drop red buff so he can't have it. I don't really want it either, to be honest, but whatever. He's only got a little bit of time left on his, uh... On his bull demon. So we can't do anything with that. Honestly, if I could make this one duel game go another 20 minutes... That'd be a win in my book, dude. That would be a win in my book. Pop that. My cooldown is at 20%, so I need something with 10. Honestly, I'm gonna go another defensive item. I just wanna I just wanna live. So I'll go Genji's guard. I'll go Genji's guard. Um that'll give me back up to max cooldown once I get my 500 pot also. And we're chilling, dude. We are so chilling. And because I have fire minions now, I'm in the winning position. So I'm the one that can run up and clear. And he cannot do anything about it. Genji's is 950. Nice. He sold his boots for a finished demonic. Good idea, considering I'm going double defense here. He clears, no big deal, because I clear like this. Then I go get my Genjis. Alright, so what's his power at? He's at 490, I'm at 618. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Gonna run at me? Oh. He stood in there, okay. Alright, let's go get uh my 500. And boom, just like that. We have max cooldown, 688 power. And not a care in the fucking world, boys. Oh, I'm so dead, dude. Never mind, maybe I live? No. GG. Oh, not GG! My minions just killed his minion wave. No, they didn't get the other minion wave, though. Shit. Might be GG. Damn, I need to I need to stall this game longer. He gets Phoenix here 110% of the time. Because he's auto attack based. Hmm. Yeah, god damn, 90 damage with that fast?
Damn, dude. We're only 30 minutes in, man. We're only 30 minutes in. That's disappointing. You shouldn't have blink up, right? Tell me that it's those minions. That's nice. I used both relics, but he did a lot of damage to my titan, which honestly, that's pretty bad. I don't know if I can come back from that. <clears throat> if my phoenix respawns and then I kill him again, then yeah, I should be okay, but like, I don't know if I can kill him again after phoenix respawns, you know? That's a lot. Not to mention killing his phoenix actually doesn't do anything, so... I bet you he's relying on me to kill this phoenix here. So that he can ult me. If I get a 3k pot, then maybe. Yo, he sold everything for max power. He sold all of his all of his attack speed for power. That's worth noting. All of it except Hecate, I guess. No way. No! He lived! He lived because of all of his lifesteal, dude. Typhon's Ring, Bancroft's, and Talon. Or, and, um. Bancroft's, Typhon's, and, and Hecate. That's what I meant to say. Damn, only 33 minutes. Only 33 minutes. Well, I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We just have six this. Until next time, guys. Peace.